All right, what's going on guys? So I've been playing this guy quite a while and I uh, realized that a lot of my audio was unusable. So if he sticks around, I'll be able to make a video with it because this is easily the best Ken I've ever seen on Elite Smash. And I don't want to lose out on a good video. So if he does end up leaving at some point, which would suck, I'll do it in post commentary with the footage I have because I know my audio is useless, but the, the video is fine. And this will probably be... Oh! Whoa! That killed so early! But, the, sorry. This will end up being the only match I have live commentary on if uh, it does end up going that route. But anyway, so this guy's been doing some really cool shit I've seen with Ken. Like, he's been using his dash, his uh, fa focus attacks uh, way better. Like, I got lucky there. But he's been using them to help him get back to the stage, which is actually pretty cool. Like, he's made Ken's recovery seem way better than I ever thought it was. Oh, there we go. Ah. Shit. Oh, you motherfucker. He lined me up right there perfectly for a spike. Okay. But he's just been playing better with this character who's honestly super weird. That was a fucking straight up Street Fighter combo. But he's been pl outplaying me. Well, not outplaying me. I've been doing just fine. But he's been playing very well with a character that a lot of us just assumed was crap. And just like that, like that was super, super quick. Like, damn. I'll continue this in the next one if he doesn't leave. I hope he doesn't leave because I would like to be able to do live commentary for this, for this guy. He's sticking around, which is good. If I can just get like three good matches in with audio actually working, I'll be happy. And on top of my audio being literally non-existent when I was trying to record this before, uh, it's also my wash machine going off, making all kinds of very loud, crazy noises. So let's see what we can do here. You've seen what he can do now when he actually has his way. Oh, what, what is that move? Oh, I wanted to touch him, touch him so bad. Did he, uh, like somehow... He somehow had no recovery on that compared to the usual. Oh, I could have, uh, that would be my time to force smash. This force smash would have hit him. What I need to learn is how to DI the Shoryuken. I'm guessing back is probably the right way. Okay, that killed super low. Oh, there goes my wash machine. That's tolerable. That's not bad. What was in the last video was just literally just no sound. And I'm actually hoping that doesn't happen this time. Let's see. He's jumping now. Yeah, if we catch the focus attack with this smash, that's what we need to do. Hard to imagine I'd be wishing I had smash stick again, though. Oh. I've been getting him with that finishing touch quite a bit, so he might have realized. Ah, I wish I had those other matches, man. I really do. Because the learning process and the holy shit, how do I beat this, was actually pretty much in that Bosch recording. Uh, that was kind of unexpected. Let's see how... Oh, come on. That's been happening this entire time. Like, I keep thinking I can get away with it, and then I just get smacked by the what the, that up smash out of shield dude it's kind of ridiculous okay I, I don't think he can get back from he didn't use his jump dude I was waiting for him too Ken's like surprisingly has super super high priority there we go that'll that'll learn you I tried the uh, the blade beam trick, and it works, but one time it didn't and got me killed because his angle is super specific. He's just mashing out the shoot. He's playing, he's playing just like Street Fighter. You see, of course, now that I'm recording is when I'm going to lose every match, though. <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm glad this guy's sticking around because I've been trying to record this uh, a set with him for at least a half hour now. And there's just so much noise, like my washing machine has been freaking out to the point where the basically my voice is unusable. And it's still going on, but it calmed down a little bit, so I'm kind of hoping 
that I can actually get a good set of matches with this guy because this is easily the best Ken I've ever seen. And a good Ken is kind of crazy because it's a character that I, well, didn't think he was shit. I didn't. Th I thought that he was so weird nobody would really take time to master him. But this man is committed to learning the character, and that's pretty cool. So if he didn't type that, he'd be dead. Or not dead, but potentially dead. But see that he's using the force of uh, the focus attacks to like, na like help um, do stuff with his jumps and do some crazy stuff to help him get back to the stage, and help uh, me not catch him in the air as easily. And it's been pretty cool. Fuck shit. Oh. If I time that just a little bit worse, I'd be dead. But yeah, dude, it's actually been really fun. I also have, uh, I switched my jump to L to make it easier to do, uh, rares. And it's taking some getting used to, honestly. But it is a lot easier to do it. Like, it's super, super easy to do it now. Less finger, less, uh, thumb movement. Also, crap, I just realized I died. Yeah, the thing I've noticed is he's very good at letting, not letting me get the big hit on him. My kills have all been coming from uh, forward tilts and back airs, really. I have not been lucky enough to land uh, too many forward smashes. And yeah, I can't even really... I regret that, that could have been something better, but... It's tough. What the fuck? I don't, I don't even know what happened there. He should be dead, not me. I thought that was him that just uh, flew to his death. The technique did not work. I've never seen that fail in that way where it was actually me who got killed. Like, I'm actually so dumbfounded that I might just get three stock right now. Dude, I'm actually stunned. But, that's fine. Let's figure out why that didn't work. Let's rematch him. Alright, so... The way that we've been playing, I've won quite a few, you've won quite a few, it's been kind of 50-50. That was probably my worst performance yet, though. Mainly because I'm, like, still a little kind of annoyed that I lost a lot of extra, a lot of other footage. But, let's not focus on Let's focus on the match right now. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, so I'm not going to be talking as much during this, just because it does require more focus than expected. He's also doing some kind of crazy wave dash. Like, I know he's Ken and it's kind of his thing, but his movement's kind of out of control. That should have been a tilt. That's supposed to be a tilt. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. See, I can't punish it because it hits me right out of the... Because it hits me right off the stage. So may as well just chill. I gotta focus more on, uh, what's it called? On ledge guard, on, uh, ledge trapping rather than ledge guarding against Ken because I can't do much about his, uh, his recovery. Oh. I can't do much about his recovery because it hits on the way up. And he's been pretty good at not giving me the angle to do the reverse, uh, there we go. And not letting me do the reverse. Uh, limit, limit cross slash. Limit blade beam? Limit blade beam. It's crazy that he can make it back from that. Let's see. This one's going okay. Figure just mash it out. That was a well-timed lag on my part, apparently.
ついてないわ。